Sure. If you are where I am, people are about, heads are about to roll. The level of frustration and emotion and about to pop off, I can't even tell you. It's like being the moon child, that's what we are. We're moon children. Like the full moon in Aries keeps getting closer and closer and closer and I am just taking on the mentality of Mars. It's like I want to do war with everybody. Like like just can't wait to rip into somebody. I'm I'm like this is not the week to fuck with me. I understand that cancers are usually moody, but this week y'all this week, the mood is, I'm going to fuck you up. Please don't get too close. Because I'm about, I will, oh, oh, just, you know what? I'll, I'm fine. I'll come after you. I just, I'm going to fuck you up for fun. Like, that's, that, it's almost like literally absorbing that Mars-like energy that just wants to punch somebody in the mouth. You know what's good about this energy, Cancerian? I'll tell you, straight up, for the first time, or not first time, but for a very, um, Unique, like not unique. God damn, the fucking words, man. I'm telling you, in a very unique way, it is actually going to help us not be codependent and it's going to help us to be very confident in ourselves. And whatever happens this week, whatever people talk shit about us, complain about us, this is not the week to do it because we're not going to give a fuck. We're absorbing. As that moon gets bigger and bigger in Aries, Aries is the house, rules the house of self. And Mars is the ruling planet of Aries. You don't fuck with Aries. Aries doesn't take shit and Aries is never wrong. It shows up to the party ready to rule. And we are literally as Cancerians absorbing that energy. And it is just off the fucking hook. This is like unexpected and that, that I feel powerful. I really do. I feel extremely powerful. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing for whatever it is. It is. Anyway, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. This is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Please do click subscribe, ring that bell so you know when I go live. And I go live every day. I'll be going live in a couple of hours tonight. I usually go live in the morning. Didn't get to it, so I'm going to go live tonight. Um, for those of you who are on platforms that allow commercials, expect there to be a commercial break. Five, four, three, two. I'll see you in a few seconds. Thank you so much for either waiting through an awkward pause or waiting through a commercial. That contributes to the channel, and I'm grateful for it. Cancer, let's see what this is your week ahead reading from Born Without Boundaries for um, October 8th through the 16th. Weekly Oracle and Tarot Card Reading. The full tarot, tarot card spread, the link is below in the description box. If you want to go over to Vimeo later, that's where it is. And a romance reading is, is included in that video. Today, right here, right now, get ready for the Oracle Reading. Let's see what Cancer, Cancer, Cancer has got coming out for it today. Cards are all ready pop in. Honestly, I'm just going to be, I'm actually going to be shocked at whatever this is because I'm so affected by this energy. So affected. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Be playful. This is spirit trying to play with us. That's what it is. Rhino, overcome any obstacle. Damn, like slamming down, slamming through walls and time to collaborate. Listen, spirit, I don't even know what spirit is trying to say right now. Because for me, I, I wouldn't want to go near me this week with a 10-foot with a pole. And if this is affecting you the way it's affecting me, because I'm double cancer, sun and moon, shit. Let me read the cards, because that's what I'm here for. Be playful. Spirit knows more than me. And it sees more than I do. And it says, this is a week to not take anything too seriously. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And do not doubt your right to have fun. We gotta fight for our right to party. That's what this week has to be. And it's our right to be us. It's our right to be ourselves. It's our right to be ourselves out loud. There's an energy, like I said, this week with Aries, that Aries energy, filling up that, filling up that moon, filling up that moon to where we're about to pop. On October, I think it's 12th or 13th, I think it's 13th, is that Aries full moon, that energy that's filling us up to feel good about ourselves, have confidence in ourselves, and to know that we're worth 
enjoying ourselves. You know what that was also saying, Cancerian? Whatever it is on your mind that you would normally make yourself feel guilty about, bullshit to that. Don't feel guilty about it. The guilt goes out the freaking door this week. This is the week for us to not feel guilty about shit. For no, us not to feel guilty about eating the last cookie and nobody else gets it. Eating the last piece of pizza and oop, I guess you should have reached in there quicker. Like this is our week to not have to freaking worry about anybody but ourselves. We are absorbing that very Aries um, Mars energy of just being able to take care of us. Honestly, bottom line, it's going to be popping off this week for us to just take our energy and, 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 and be, be ourselves. Um, rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. With this kind of energy, there's no way you're going to hold us back. You could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be dealing with like issues that have been long standing cancer this is the week and this is the energy to plow through them or to make some moves to make some decisions and to recognize and realize that our lives are not designed by spirit our lives are designed by us and we guide spirit and we direct it based on the choices that we make so what are the decisions that we're making this week see what i see in the cards that you can't see but i'll flip it around so you can see it this is 51 50 and then one you know what we're changing and we're getting a new start a new beginning and whether you realize it or not bam there's somebody coming in this is collaboration this doesn't feel to me the energy doesn't feel like the week to work with somebody but that's not the case and i say it a lot of times to people who are watching when does somebody come into your life when you don't give a shit about them coming into your life when does some when are you most attractive when you're not looking for somebody like that's this week you understand how powerful it is to just be consumed by yourself to just be happy with who you are when people see you being boss and being badass and making progress they're attracted to that that's people that have that's when they get confident in you that oh this is somebody i could really be with not that needy moody like can't make a decision without me says yes to everything always wants to do what i want to do but what's your opinion what opinion do you have irritating the shit out of people but not this week this is a week for us to glow for us to shine for us to radiate ourselves and cancers can be pretty bad fucking ass you know what that means cancerian this is our week to be okay with feeling whatever we gotta feel and not apologizing for it this is our unapologetic week this is our oh excuse me were you offended that's what this week is if you even care enough to give somebody the finger like that's what this week is like ugh, i'm sorry I, I, your complaints just what like like that's what the energy is it's like pugilistic emotion just pugilistically defending our moody crazy selves because that's who we are. And if you can't love me for who I am, peace the f*** out. Stop expecting me to explain myself to you. Stop expecting me to constantly make you feel good. Jesus, how many years have I wasted on that shit? Not going to do it. This is a week for us to be light and to create opportunities for ourselves by being light, by being, it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm playful, right? But that's bullshit because this crazy bitch energy is actually easier for people to handle than the, what do you need? But what do you need? But you make me happy. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? You know, it's like, it's like that kind of stuff is our water energy drowning people smothering them filling their nose sucking out the life of them because they can't breathe underwater whereas this is us is is being on the surface of the water is is being the water that supports people people to have fun and be playful because we're not like dousing them with all this um i need you to understand me i need you to connect with me you see cancer this is a beautiful week for us because it's not that we can't be just as moody as we normally are it's that we don't have to worry about how other people feel about it and we don't have to worry about whether or not we're offending people because if we are we don't give a fuck this week we are absorbing all that mars energy and mars is sexy as hell 
Mm. It is. It is. Like, he, Mars is the ruler of warfare. And guess who Mars attracted? Venus. Mm. And this is Libra season. And Venus. And Venus rules the sign of Libra. And so if we can take on that very Mars-like energy, perhaps we can attract ourselves one beautiful bitch. You hear what I'm saying? I know you hear what I'm saying. And if you don't hear what I'm saying, that's okay. You're probably bitching and screaming and moaning at me. And I say, do you. Go ahead. Do whatever you need to do, Cancer, because that's what's going to get you through this week. And that's what's going to get people to be attracted to you when you are your unbridled self unapologetically everything that you are out loud that's what we have permission to do this week also also oh shit i just heard this and i'll show you i'm looking to my camera stand over on the side i'm not crazy um i'll show you what i'm seeing in the cards there are people and i'm not playing with you there are people who are conspiring to work against us. There are people who are collaborating to fuck with us and fuck us up. This week, I feel very, very bad for them. They are underestimating everything that we are and just how far that we can reach. And they do not see that we can kick their ass. But that is what's coming in. And if it's not us, it's going to be somebody that is defending us. One way or the other, we're about to break through these piddly little motherfuckers who think that they can literally keep us down. Seriously, there are people who have been whittling, whittling, whittling to try and keep us back, but that's not the case. Look at this, look at this, very nice. I'm telling you, this is, this is a season of love for us. And it was going to happen not by the new moon, but by the full moon. Why? Because this is the best kind of Cancerian energy. Why? Because it's extreme masculine energy and we're an extreme feminine energy. And when we absorb that masculine energy, it actually balances us out. It actually makes us a lot more digestible to a lot more people. So this week, Cancer, expect to be getting a lot of attention. Expect to be so beautiful and smell so good. Like no matter what you do, it's almost like, it's almost like you drank a love potion and people can't help but like just be not, you drank a love potion but it's almost like everybody's love drunk for you you are going to be attracting some love this week independence Ooh la la claim your independence and that's what i'm saying is like you might this week honestly not even give a flying fuck about love this week like you literally are so confident and feeling so good that you don't even need to be in love this week this is a week that's all about you a week that's dedicated to everything that you are and everything that you want and overcoming somebody who had the stupid idea that they could work against you and actually get away with it because honestly what it's going to do is it's going to flip around on them and it's going to end up working in your favor Mm, co-create with spirit but it flipped upside down why because there is going to be a part of us that's honestly disconnected this week it is but it's going to be for the better why because now is a very lucky time and it's also a very fertile time watch out because when this card shows up this is very make babies energy so cancerian if you're trying to procreate definitely get to business this week but you're going to have so much appeal in you it's not going to be difficult for you to get busy this week for real for serious but it also means luck and prosperity so those things that have actually been held up been held back and what this tells me is it's not going to be announced you won't even know it it's in the process of letting it go and not thinking about it and completely ignoring it that the luck is going to come through. And why are we going to be ignoring it? Because we got better shit to do this week. We are, we, are, we are punching doors and throwing dishes and then crying about it and then laughing because we farted. Like that's what we're doing and we're doing it all in under a minute. If people want whiplash, then they can stand next to a cancer this week because we're about to fuck you up with emotion and not give a shit. Bye, bitch. Silence speaks volumes. Mm. 
Let's see if there's any more cards that want to come out for you before I flip the camera around so you can see the cards. There's potential for some juicy information. What I really want to go into in tarot is what the fuck is up with these people who are literally trying to hold us back? Because if you have felt that there has been an energy block, Cancerian, it's intentional. It's intentional and it's external. I don't think it's internal at all. It is definitely somebody who is piddly and petty trying to work against you. But this week, you're going to radiate so much power. It's all it's like you're going to take the power of Aries and literally blow people up through the sun. It's like literally we are going to turn the moon into the Death Star this week. That's what we're doing. We're turning the moon into a death star this week. And everybody better watch the fuck out because you piss us off and bye-bye, Alderaan. Psh. We don't even care. We don't, like this week, I'm telling you right now, it's, that's the kind of energy that our moon is radiating. And like, we don't even give a fuck. We are all kinds of motherfucking Darth Vader. Oh, by the way, kaboom. Take a leap of faith. And we're going to be able to do it this week too. See, this is again luck. We have two luck, 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 luck. All kinds of lucky porn. We're dripping in luck this week. And both of these cards are leapers. They're jumpers. In other words, we are taking a jump this week. We are taking a jump up, a jump out, a jump away from, a jump to a higher level, and anything that we lay our mind to and decide to have a leap of faith in is going to work out perfectly. I'm telling you right now, Cancerian, listen very carefully, Cancerian. If your intuition says to you, do it, that's all it needs. A second later, you better be doing it. You better not think another second about it. Do what? Who cares? Go. That's it. If your intuition says do it, then get her done. Because this is the week to do it. This is the go buy a lotto ticket, Cancerian. Go do some crazy shit that you would normally never get away with. Because, ooh, 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 it is coming. We are dripping, dripping in the honey this week and you want to know why it's because we're not being our normal selves we're being our outrageous selves we're not being moody and whiny we're being moody and bitchy and for some crazy reason people love that shit let me flip the camera around kaboom cancers kaboom this is your energy look at this this is like a hawk taking off. This is like an eagle flying. This is giving wings to a water sign that otherwise would not be able to fly. I mean, straight up and for real, this is a week where focusing on yourself, doing what you love and not waiting, not waiting for somebody's permission or somebody's approval or sitting around wondering and worrying, is it right? Did I do the right thing? Who gives a fuck? It's all about what gives you pleasure, what gives you happiness and getting it done in terms of, do you want to, do you like it? Does it interest you? You have got to take leaps of faith this week. You, you, do you understand Cancerian? Can you just take a motherfucking second and realize that you are the North fucking node? We are literally the designers of reality now. And infused with that pop off, powerful fire energy of Mars on this Aries full moon. We are master creators. That is like emperor motherfucking energy. That is like for real energy. Nobody can stop us from manifesting. I'm serious. I am serious. That moon is up there like the Death Star taking aim at any bitch who wants to come and fuck us, fuck with us. It is up there taking aim. We are so capable of doing whatever the fuck we want. Like we are the gods themselves. And I'm not trying to say usurp the Lord. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is 
Actually, honestly, I'm going to be like that, 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 not, that, that is kind of what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say is a hundred percent. This is our week to literally treat the world like it's our bitch. Why? Because it wants to be treated like a bitch. It wants to be turned around, spanked on the ass and screwed real hard. That's what it wants. And that's what we're going to give it. Why? Because we're like that. We're cancers and we like to give people what they want. And this week, people want to get fucked real hard and that's what we're going to give them. Oh my God, I'm not even holding back this reading. For real? That is for real? I'm telling you right now, that is it straight up. It is all about... Yep. <laughs> Oh my God, for real. Cancer, this is not normally you. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not normally you, but you know what it is? It is a chance for you to enjoy this other side, this feeling, this feeling, because the truth is we have the power. We have this energy inside of us. Every month has a new full moon. And when that moon is full, we are moon babies. We are Filled with the energy that that moon possesses. Filled with the energy of Aries that's ruled by Mars. In Libra season that's ruled by Venus. We are literally the big dick that that throbbing pussy wants to get. That is what we have in our power this week. And I'm telling you, you've got to wield it and wield it well. Because any opportunity that you go after this week, it's just going to be a big old yes. And it's going to forge forward in your life. This is a huge week for us to break through any walls or any barriers or any bullshit that people have been trying on us. This is that week. And we are that bitch. And the world is wet for us. So... Over on Vimeo, what am I going to do? I'm going to use the tarot cards to go a little bit deeper into who's fucking with us and why. And just how hurt are they going to get? Why this spirit card is turned upside down? I know it's because we don't need permission from spirit this week. That's what I'm saying. But I want to get a deeper understanding of that. As well as a little bit more message, whatever they want to send. But a little bit more energy in terms of... Hmm, mm, mm. the love that's coming in because claim your independence is looking literally right there at the swan at the swan so it's almost like it's almost like mm, mm. it's almost like we want to eat love alive this week I'm just going to be totally honest with you <laughs> it's like literally we want to make a meal out of love this week we are hungry and it looks good on us. I'll see you over on Vimeo.